Hey, people. Injured here. VV3, Valderis Refinery, Blue Team. Emperor's Potato is a brother captain, a durable hero walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support fighting in melee alongside Gats as a commander knob, an infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orkistow begins with a twin link shooter and rounded off the team here. Mustafa as an inquisitor offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get ranged weapons. This is the Vostroyan firstborn. Red team. Lokio as a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside Fear as a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control, Thousand Suns, Elite Scheme. And rounded off the teams, Machine Elf as a Farseer support hero fighting in melee combat, powerful buffs and control, and rocking the Harley Quinn's Elite Scheme. Is it recolored? I don't know. It's colourful. On the west side is the Farseer against the Brother Captain. Brother Captain grabs that contested power. Can they hold it though? Doesn't look like they're trying to load it quickly. Some support coming in from the Orcs. 2v1 against Machine Elf. Banshee's in on the Strax squad. Power weapons versus heavy armour. What a Brother Captain supporting them with We Are The Hammer and getting some good hits in helps them out. Speaking of good hits, that was a good special from the Farseer. They kill a Strax squad model. Well done, Machine Elf. Fast here, getting some work done there. Got a good chunk of XP, actually. Meanwhile, in the mid, do bolts. Kind of dodged, I guess. Yeah, pretty much dodged. Stun bomb on the heretics is nicely played. But Shooter Boys kind of went stumbling into them, even. If they stopped and ducked their faces, that engagement may have gone a bunch better for Gats. Commando's getting some help now from the Order Malleus forces. The Strike Squad throwing out the banishment from the Tomes of Titan. They get an incredibly low though. Heretics take out another model. I don't think they can get that last one. Here's some more Stormtroopers and these guys had their impact grenade in case it was needed. Heretics wiping thanks to the Brother Captain. Stormtroopers I think are all right. Still got three CSM models there. Can the Brother Captain get another one? Or the first one I should say. Some Doom Bolts, Impact Grenade goes in, Brother Captain shows up with a power weapon. Doesn't go for the CSM though, I don't think. I think he was striking the heretics there. I think I would have gone for the CSM, tried to get a model off him, because that's 66 requisition to reinforce. Over on the east side, we have Mustafa pushing through onto the VP. Up against the Elictor Alpha. Double Termigants in play to help shoot down the Sentinel and a Ravna Brood on the way too. To also assist with that, that's the Holy Brazier throwing out the Holy Pyre, debuffing and damaging those Termigants that are stuck in it. Doing a lot of damage to them, actually. I think Lockyer thinks they moved them out of it, but they certainly did not. And that almost wiped the entire Termigant brood. Formagants also fleeing, probably from the Catechins. Catechins are very useful in melee. They can also counter melee squads approaching with their shotgun blast. Or, of course, a well-timed grenade barrage from their launcher. Lictor Alpha scares them off, though. Inquisitor is back at base. Ran off. Sentinel got kind of low. Oh, Ravenous Burrow's Dragon to try and finish it. I don't think they can, though. Catechin's hanging out just in case they got close. They could shotgun them. Back to the west side. Machine Elf getting on through. Impact Grenade says no. But Banshees carry on. Oh, they should have kept attacking the Strike Squad. One of them... One of them got knocked backwards. I think they could have got that model if they kept attacking. Good work though from Machine Elf. Getting through using the Guardian weapon team it looks like at the start of that fight. What else we got going on? Just double shooters for Gats. Double Katich and Devils for Mustafa. Potentially incredibly effective. They can do so much stuff for you Katich and Devils. Require a bunch of micro to use well even in a 3v3 where the micro load is typically lower than a 1v1. You don't have to worry about map presence and control quite as much. It's more about managing engagements. Red team hold the mid and CSM there with a ton of war. Double aspiring champion heretics too. Shooter boys backing off. Do they not have the... They have the big shooters. Maybe they used I mean, what's that already? Strat squad here to help out. They've backed them all the way off. 
But Gats does keep them in play and now they turn them back up. Only the big shooters there, long enough range to get any shots in. 459 to 421. I hear Katachan grenade barrages going off. The Inquisitor runs away. Double turn, we're going to flee. No, only one of them fled. The flame is roasting them. Lick to Alpha getting stuck in. Does have the pheromone for the pheromone cloud. Termigants made it out. Former Gaunt with adrenal glands get stomped. Ravenous pouring DPS onto those Sentinel and they get it. Bit of help here from Fear. CSM very close to dropping model. I think they're okay. Shooter boys didn't want to chase them in anymore because of that kind of thing. Here's the Commander Knob and they get a good stun bomb. He's not interested. He's not interested. He's going to go cap. You're always going to be careful with your approach play when you're facing a commando can really mess you up with a well-placed stun bomb. It's harder to dodge when you're running in, I think. Because units have to rotate and turn and start accelerating again and all that stuff. Interceptors getting chopped up by Howling Banshees. Farseer with the Spirit Stones to support them. Probably threw Guide on them there too, I didn't actually see. We'll see if the in if the brother captain starts throwing up full work and that kind of thing to combat the melee. Because the Banshees seem to be doing pretty damn well. They're killing Grey Knights in every fight, it seems like. Back towards the northeast here. Natural VP of the red team. Under some threats, but I think they can yeah, they can get the shooter boys out of there. Inquisitor leaves them to decap this natural wreck point. Nope. Decides against it. Level two though, she's done well, the Inquisitor. Tier 2's all round, aside from Mustafa, there it is. Lost a Sentinel, of course. Typically, they are, they are not replaced Sentinels, which is kind of interesting in its own right, I think. A lot of Tier 1 squads would be replaced if they were lost, but Sentinels, nope. Especially when they don't cost power. 2-1 two -two cap for the blue team. That's a Blood Crusher on the way for Fear. Shotgun blasting Catechins again. Yeah, the Hormagaunts are going to really find it difficult to approach when those guys are shotgunning. There's two of them to do it as well. And you don't really want to burrow strike them with Raveners, especially if they're both there. They could just turn and melee them. Tough for those Hormagaunts. It might be better, more worthwhile kind of sending them off to decap and harass and support enemies maybe. But then you have to split your attention, of course. But the captain, chopping down the Farseer. No war gear for this fella yet. But he's doing alright. He's level 2. Big chunk of hit points. Mid is turning red with double Zinchian worship there, I believe. Yeah, so they're all getting infiltrated. Here's your blood crusher, or is it? There he is. Spotted by Mustafa. No more foot nades after patch. Indeed, Machine Elf is not going to be able to chuck those grenades at the feet of the Guardians in the next update. Well, the update is out now. I just haven't quite moved on to it yet with my casting, but I will soon. Ish. So I've got a bunch of 2992 games to do. Tank Busters on the way for Gats. They've seen the Blood Crusher, I suppose. Yeah, there it is. Only 600 hit points of vehicle armor is very low for a melee unit. It is quite mobile, though, and it can charge and do a demonic roar to make stuff run away. So it does have ways to kind of mitigate damage and protect itself. Not having melee resistance is really painful for it though. Meanwhile, west side. Banshee's run. I think the Blood Crusher should have a, a tier 3 upgrade or something. For anyone that can dare to get a Blood Crusher into tier 3. One that like, gives it melee resistance and a bit more hit points maybe. Warp Vomit goes in. Really good one too. That got like four squads and the Sorcerer. And threw the Zap in as well. The Zap's on the Sorcerer. Jumps to the CSM. Doom Bolt's flying in. Blood Crusher chopping stuff up. Almost 100 heavy melee DPS on this guy. No splash damage, but it's pretty nice. And I think they'll be happy going in here. Almost wiping out the Stormtroopers. Brother Captain's with a big old hammer. No, don't miss the steam hammer. For the sweeping, uh, demolishing strikes, sorry. Sweeping Doom is the Chaos Lord's version. That was quite a lot of heresy I just did there. Wraith Lord is up with a Shuriken Cannon on the shoulder. 
Bad news for these fellas. Look at that damage. Big booms. I don't know if there is. Maybe someone, maybe someone out there knows. Is there a m maximum amount of models that can be hit by splash damage? Or did he just need to be close enough and it'll just hit every single one? I wonder. Emperor's Potato, now with the Purgation Squad on the way, they actually lost their Strike Squad. I completely spaced. Where are they? That's an Interceptor Corpse. Maybe here? Looks like right here. I'm sure it was Howling Banshees with Farseer buffs. Aspect of fleetness on these with the dual mirror swords. Warpath Weird Boy speeding up those shooters and the sluggers. Do the sluggers have a knob leader? They do. Big mean fella. East side. So much pressure from Mustafa. I don't think I've seen Lokyo get to the middle yet. They've had a rough time over there. Victor Alpha struggling early against the Sentinel, but eventually got it down. And now the Catechon's doing work over there. Good hits from the Raid Lord. Blood Crusher is still alive, by the way. And Tank Busters on the Warpath. Can they get another volley? They can. Look how much damage those volleys do. That's nuts. Nicely timed Warp Vomits hitting those Banshees. And that was the Demolishing Strike. Knocking those guys miles. Autark dropped in as you saw. She provides a damage resistance aura to nearby allies. Good news for those Howling Banshees. I believe it's 15%. That was super effective. That was like five squads and a hero, I think. Gravity Blade doing work. 456 to 280 on the VPs. One to one cap. Blood Crush is in a bad neighborhood here. That was like a volley and a half from the tank busters, and it's almost down to half health. Level 2 Sorcerer, Rod of Warp Fire, and Robes of Torment. Grey Knight Dreadnought coming up. Mustafa making moves on the east side again, gonna bash his power with flame. Patachins. What level are you fellas? They're both still level 1. Doom Bolts. Doing Doom Bolty things. Looks like. Fear wants to wait to push. Look at this. Lockyo shows up in the mid with a Venom Brew and ranged synapse on the field to buff the Ravenous and the double termagants. Meanwhile, more Doom Bolting. Lockyo goes tier 3. Fear is in tier 3. Mustafa goes tier 3. Got double assault kit stormtroopers. Blood Crusher goes after the tank bus is the biggest threat to it. 456 to 280. Doubles each in worship. Surprise party for the interceptors. Oh, they didn't like it. They are going to wipe. And they indeed do wipe. Impact grenade goes in. Emperor's potato is confused. Maybe they tried to retreat them and they didn't. Oh, apparently. It might have been because of that knockback that was in there. Sometimes it can mess with retreating. Yeah, that's what fear says. Did they have the retreat icon on them? I didn't see it. I think Emperor's Potato's point is they didn't retreat. Not that they would have got away. They probably wouldn't have, depending on how quickly they retreated them. They took a lot of damage still. A lot of damage really quickly, though. Bortox got a spear. Blood Crusher backs off. Still alive, though, eh? Wraithlord backs off. Here's the Grey Knight Dreadnought going for, of course, the Plasma Cannon. Such a fun upgrade. Having both arms be, weapon, be ranged weapons. Double, uh, two to one cap, sorry. Four, five, six to two, two, four. Big VP lead for the blue team. Heretics, you all right, fellas? They are not all right. Heretics, wipe. And those guys had an aspiring champion. Now they can't double Zinch worship. See, these worshiping fellas are revealed. Tank Buster Barrage, aiming for the Blood Crusher. Oh, they know, they just knock him off the cap. Well, it works. Inquisitor somehow is in the back lines bashing power all by herself. Trying to get that generator down, but she may die now. Down she goes in a tough spot to revive as well. Oh, blue team are pushing up. Can the plasma cannon even shoot out there? Never mind. Here's an autark to shoot at. Why is she ahead of everyone? Switches to the fusion gun. Anti-everything ranged weapon. 
some levitation stuff, and here's the Wraith Lord again. Big fight brewing in the mid, eh? Conversion Beamer is up. Can it get a shot? It does. He got a shot on the Blood Crusher, which is very slowly charging because it's slowed down there. It survives. Blood Crusher survives. Got that Zinchian worship going on. Lots of health regen for a demon unit when you worship. Emperor's Potato down to two units now. Purgation and Grey Knight Dreadnought and Ghost Tier 3. Machine Elf, the only player in Tier 2 at the moment. Carnifex and Great Unclean One on the way. Red Team taking the mid. Can they stabilize it a bit and get this VP deficit evened up a bit? Lehman Russ on the way for Mustafa. Does Machine Elf have any population? They do have a bit of population left. Now, what kind of carn effects do we see here? They know they're up against Imperial Guard. They already know there's a Grey Knight Dreadnought, so it might be a Venom Cannon. It might be... Is it, like, worth waiting to see if you see a Lehman Russ? I don't know. I think you've got to make a proactive decision. Otherwise, you're left with a melee kind of effect that doesn't have the health of the thorn back and can't charge until you see something else. Hail Space Marines getting the mark of Zinch. Not sure why they're getting the mark of Zinch. They're up against a lot of regular infantry at the moment. It's ty typically seen as not worth it to get this upgrade unless you're fighting heavy or super heavy infantry. I mean they can because Emperor's Potatoes here with his Ordo Malleus fellas. And they can field a lot of that stuff, but they don't have a lot of it right now. Only the Purgation Squad. I think it typically more efficient to just have the Aspiring Champion and use Slaughter if you're against a bunch of Light Infantry. Carnifex has gone Strangle Thorn Cannon. Lehman Russ is up and has Vanquisher. That's good for shooting at Carnifexes. Great unclean one on the field too. Super unit for the Chaos Fellas. Counts as a demon so you can worship the big fella. Passively damages nearby enemies and is powerful in melee. And just a massive roadblock for the enemy to get around or through. Yeah, they've got big buckets of hit points here, haven't they? The Khan Effect, the Great Unclean One, and the Wraith Lord. Money to try and focus targets, all three players, to get them down quickly. That is a foot of Gork. Crunch. From the weird boy, that was. Red Team hold the mid. You have an infiltrated army here, thanks to the webway. Level 4 Farseer. Looking for a fight. Where's this guy? Repaired by sluggers. How is that happening? They're just yelling at it, I think. I hear Great Unclean One says Emperor's Potato. Can they get the brother captain down? They can't. 377 to 177. Lehman Rush shows up. He doesn't really have any anti-vehicle aside from these melee units which might struggle to take down the Lehman Russ. It's got the range advantage, of course. Doing big chunks of damage to that Blood Crusher. And there's the Tank Busters. There's some Zinch worship. It's done incredibly well to keep that thing alive as fear. There's a Tank Buster Barrage. Great and Q1 comes to say hello, but they're not interested. They're not here for meet and greet. But it didn't lick their alpha do there. Oh, I think he just... I think he just sighed thin air. Just looked like he was pissed off for a second. Deadly jump is in. And, of course, the pheromone. Mid is red. Grey Knight Dreadnought. Getting tied up, maybe. Can you tie this thing up, even? It doesn't have a melee attack, does it? Oh, hey, Paladins. All of a sudden, the mark of Zinc CSM may really come in handy. Paladins are 5,400 hit points unique to the Brother Captain, and they are going Incinerator. You can also get the Holy Grounds upgrade. Blood Crush is still going, full health. Hawks getting hit by the Strangle Thorn Cannon, which I don't like. Did a lot of damage to the Carnifex, though. Lehman Rush shows up. That was Crippling Poison on the Inquisitor. I think she was trying to tie up the Carnifex. Demon Rust will give chase. Oh, did he wait too long to start moving, though? It might have. I think they need to get it moving earlier. 
paladins are in a really bad spot. What are they up to? They are so dead, I think. Where's the other one? Why do I only see one paladin here? Oh, the other one's dead. Oh, it was there, look. Just trying to escape. Friendly fire grenade on those heretics. Great unclean one still giving chase. Heretics are still giving chase, so now they run. Is he, are they going to survive? That's amazing. Well, maybe not. Great unclean one seems to be fast enough with his big belly charge there to... Yeah, big belly charge gets it. And we get a cool sink kill. Paladins are down. Emperor's potato has a single unit on the field. And paladins are a big, big thing to lose. Can they possibly turn... I mean, I was going to say, can they turn this around? They have the VP lead, but they have the army deficit now. Emperor's potato's next unit choice is vital. And it might be safer to get just like another purgation squad and give them the conversion beamer and just rely on your allies to do the heavy lifting until you can get something else. A Vindicare Assassin maybe would be a good shout, I think. We shall see. The Terminator Librarian could protect this Orc ranged mob as well. Well, can't protect them from vehicles and great unclean ones with the Sanctuary. Double Lehman Russes from Mustafa should do quite a lot of work on the east side. Maybe, yeah, maybe even get on the VP look. Those sneaky stormtroopers are doing it. I think that's going to be their saviour here, how strong Mustafa is at the moment. Down goes the Wraith Lord too. D Cannon trying to get shots in. Bright Lance also. Comes the Brother Captain. Are they saving for a land raider here? Boom bolts. Some good hits. But the captain just destroyed the bright lance, I think. Yeah, they did. Doing some good work, that fellow. What level is he? Level 3. Inquisitor level 3. Commander level 3. All the threes. Rocket launcher, too. 296 to 161. Mustafa still pressuring this side. Oh, Stranglethorn cannons here, though. Crunch. Look at that damage. Yeah, I need to run, fellas. Chaos Predator now for fear. Really? When, when you know there's two Vanquish Lehman Russes, that is a very brave pick. Down it goes. I'm guessing the plan was to use Infiltration and Mark of Zinch and stuff, but it was in a very strange spot over there. They have some Chaos Terminators do. Oh, Emperor's Potato. What happened to your purgation, buddy? Is that them there? Yeah, that's them there. I guess Eldar things happened. And now they're getting a Land Raider Crusader. Knob Squad on the way for Gats. Double cap for Red. Those Stormtroopers may not survive. Nope, they got terminated. Auto cannon on these fellas. Triple now for the red team. How's about that? Just as the blue team was starting to look, get some good kills and stuff. With the Lehman Rust is doing good work. Triple against them now. Need AV, says Fear. Yeah, those Lehman Russes aren't really being threatened that much, are they? Where's the Crusader going to go? You would expect it to go to the middle. Here, to also watch the VP. But, they are up against Eldar. Eldar with their Eldritch Storms. Knob Squad. You have upgrades, fellas? No upgrades for those fellas. Over on the northeast. VP is still red. Mustafa can't get on it. I guess yeah, the Katachins and the Guardsmen aren't really amazing at holding a VP, are they? Out in the open like that. Well, the captain wants the middle VP. Any other war gear? No other war gear. Level 4, though. There's that Crusader. With Hurricane Bolters on the side sponsors, these guys can now reinforce off this thing and get health and energy regen. Does the Autark live? 
Looks like she lives. Right, Lance. Told to leave and does. Inquisitor dies. We now have double Khan effects, one of which has a Venom Cannon. That's going to help against the double Demon Russes. Fear got some Plague Marines up. And Emperor's Potato with double Purgation coming. Most likely with Conversion Demons on both, I would think. To shoot down the Khan effects and the Great Thin one. Gravity Blade doing the job against the Knob Squad. All those bolters are painful. There was Salt Cannon in there too. No, the Knob Squad didn't really care about being lifted into the air. There wasn't really much around to damage them. Good grenade though. Beautiful grenade. A grenade, a plasma grenade that killed two Knob Squad models I think. There's Subjugation. Uses it to get them into trouble. Maybe? Or just get close to trouble I guess. Yeah. If they can use that early and turn the Knob Squad onto one of the Lehman Russes or... Oh, no need. The Knob Squad's dead. Well done, Fear. Knows what he's doing. 207 to 161. Is that another Bright Lance? It is another Bright Lance. So they are trying to bring, bring guns to bear against those Lehman Russes. They've been used very well so far, though, by Mustafa. Here comes the Lictor Alpha. What is he up to? Side in talons. That was a deadly jump, and they do have the menacing visage as well. That's a singularity, I think. A cancelled singularity because it ran away. 207161. Great Uncle has got behind the orcs. Cloud of flies. Goes after the land raider now and so does the fusion gun autark awesome to see don't often get to see an autark running around in tier 3 with her cool gun and they're doing a lot of damage auto cannon terminator is there as well i just saw plague marines explode yeah that was plague marines wiping i think this is a new squad here can they get the great the uh, land raider down that's an eldritch storm and the Baltimore Razorback, no way the Land Raider's getting away. Land Raider falls. Heavy losses for Emperor's Potato. Just got ice. Just all of a sudden was isolated there. Had very little support from Gats because all of Gats stuff just got off the field, I think. Vortok continues to harass the Baltimore Razorback. They can't get it done though, no. Run away. 1791, 178, sorry, to 161. Chaos Terminator's cap. Double Lehman Russ is in the mid with repair support. That's long range on that repair, eh? Wow. That bunker's repairing them over there. Potato gets Stormtroopers up to repair. Maybe just should have got some earlier for the Land Raider, I guess. Rock's coming in. Ouch. That was like a direct hit on those Terminators, I think. They can't retreat. Are they going to get warped? They still have three models. That was a that was just a teleport. Okay, they survived with all three models. That's nuts. D cannon. Can't wait to see the old D cannon shot. It's been it's been years. They apparently they brought it back in the new update. I haven't seen it though. Down goes the commando. Level are you, Commando? Level 5 Commando. 130 to 161 now. And she's doing the chasey chase. And flash kits are heavy infantry, so they're taking huge damage here. Level 4 Banshees. Been awesome. Some pressure on Mustafa now. Where are the Khan effects, though? They're back at base healing. Venom Brood is here, though. Got some late Patachins, unless... They're on a, they're level 3. They must have got subjugated at some point and they went to the the end of the roster down there. Patitons run. There's a Lictor, Alpha and a Lictor now. It's only level 3 that Lictor. So it's been stopped in its tracks a bunch of times by Hammer of the Witches and Patitons and things I guess. Got the captain yelling about things. Reviving? Nope, not reviving. 
Smacking around the altar. Get out of here. I want to revive my orc friend. Or not. Just cap the BP. Might not work out for you. The automate is getting repaired. But, oh look! The Autark's in heavy cover here. Why is that heavy cover? Was there a rocks? I know there was an Eldritch here, but was there a rocks? At some point. Why would there have been a rocks though? I don't know what this scarring is from. It looks like rock scarring. I mean, maybe the maybe the elves got close with a bunch of stuff and they tried to rocks them. I didn't realize they created heavy cover craters though. That's crazy. It seems wrong. Inquisitor just died. At least she just yelled, and she's on the floor now. The Tarana formation killer off the VP maybe. Maybe. Third Lehman Russ on the way for Mustafa. And sometimes that can actually be the catalyst to the player starting to lose stuff, you know. They were microing two tanks incredibly well, but when they get the third, things start to get a little cramped and they can't move them around, but it doesn't matter. It's a double cap and a victory for the red team. I'm just rambling on about tanks. Emperor's Potato level four. With tons of resources at the end, actually. Look at that. Could have got another Land Raider. Could have got more Paladins. They did not. Gat's Commando Knob is down at the end, level 5. Brother Captain, by the way, level 4. Level 4 Inquisitor. They did have Purgatus and Mandate. Must have in general played really well. Lockio, level 3 Lictor Alpha. Fear also did really well. Level 8, this guy. Subjugation. Two Chaos Terminators. Machine Elf also with a pretty strong game. Level 6 Farsia. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game, and I'll see you next time.